continue testing public firmware release for the Phantom 4 Pro firmware 01.04.0602 released on June 9th, 2017. We're just about there. All right, 348 feet. And we're going to assess wind speeds aloft because we're going to orient our flying testing relative to wind for the rest of this flight. And to test wind speeds aloft, what you do is you switch from PGPS mode. See, we're stable at 553 foot distance, 348 feet height. And I switch to ADDIE mode. And then we just watch the aircraft drift with the wind. So, you know, we're going to make sure it's safe to do so. And the app itself will tell you pretty quickly. All right, so wind speeds are now 12.3 miles per hour. We're drifting to the northwest at 12, 12 and a half miles an hour. Pretty consistently. It just went down to 10 and a half. Now we're back up to 11.8, 12.2, 11.6 miles per hour. Okay. Switch it back to PGPS mode. I've got obstacle avoidance turned off. First thing I'm going to do is turn the aircraft so that the wind is directly from the right side of the aircraft. I'll get it here in just a second. Okay, and we'll begin with flying forward with winds. Oh, let's let's do it a little bit differently this time. Let's fly to the right first, directly into the wind, coming from the right side of the aircraft. Here we go. Giving it full stick, 26 miles an hour, 27, 30 miles an hour, too much high wind velocity message, which is legitimate. 31 miles an hour, 31.4, 30.7, kind of maxed out there. As you would expect, the, the wind speed that we're, you know, we're kind of flying directly into the wind, so that's limiting our uh, maximum speed. Absolutely level gimbal horizon, no signs of gimbal instability. You know, I'm flying into a 12 mile an hour wind directly to the right with wind coming from the right. Now let's change it up and I will now fly to the left, the wind pushing us in this direction. 38 miles an hour horizontal velocity. 38 miles an hour. That's where we're maxing out. Okay. Again, gimbal horizon absolutely level. No sign of gimbal instability. stop stabilize and now I will fly forward with wind coming directly from the right side of the aircraft 32 miles an hour now full stick 30 36 miles an hour Flying forward with wind coming directly from the right hand side of the aircraft. And we will maintain this a little bit longer. Okay, the aircraft stop. Now full reverse stick. And as we're doing this, I'll also note that after uh, updating the firmware yesterday, the cold IMU calibration and a gimbal stick calibration. After doing the IMU calibration, I found that my gimbal horizon testing inside the house, tilting the aircraft left and right, forward, backwards, I had an absolutely level gimbal horizon, so I did not do a gimbal calibration. If you've already achieved perfection with the IMU calibration, stop. Do not do a gimbal calibration. You can see flying backwards, we're also seeing no 
gimbal instability issues and maintaining an absolutely level gimbal horizon. I'm now going to turn the aircraft to the right 90 degrees. And let me go into my map view so I can see. All right, now I am orienting myself so I am flying directly and I will start with a forward flight into the wind. 20 miles an hour. Not full stick yet, 28 miles an hour. 30 miles an hour. 32 miles an hour. And now I'm giving it full stick. Level gimbal horizon, no signs of gimbal instability. We will hold this for a while. And now we'll try backwards. Wind pushing us in this direction. Again, level gimbal horizon, no signs of instability. Definitely breezy at ground level right now. Okay. Now I will try flying to the left. This is with wind directly from the front. Flying to the left. Again, gimbal horizon remaining absolutely level, no sign of gimbal instability. And what am I talking about gimbal instability? Uh, I think we may see it here in the next test, which is to fly right with wind coming from the front of the aircraft. And on my first flight today, uh, I got gimbal rollover uh, at full or near full stick. So let's see what happens. Wind coming from the front of the aircraft flying to the right 27 miles an hour not quite full stick yet and there we go repeating these results I got the first time and I've seen similar things with the beta firmware 050510 under certain flying conditions and this is it wind coming from the front of the aircraft flying to the right miles an hour and there it's already flip flipping or I wasn't even at full stick. Let's let's see at what speed I get this. Alright, I'll slowly accelerate to the right. Five miles an hour. Seven miles an hour horizontal wind speed. Horizontal ground speed. A little bit faster. Fifteen miles per hour. 17 miles an hour. So if you think about the aircraft position right now, it's it's got wind coming from the front, so it has to be tilted forward to maintain its position, and it's also tilting to the right to fly to the right. And now I'll give it a little bit more, 21 miles an hour, and there it goes. So somewhere around over 20 miles an hour, and now I'm back to 17 miles an hour. See if I can hold that. Now 20. So there it tipped at 20. See if I can hold 16. 19 miles an hour, right? 19 to 20 miles an hour, and we get gimbal rollover. And again, to document this, this is with wind coming from the front of the aircraft. So we're facing directly into the wind and flying to the right. And just to show you that it's flying to the right only that does this, I'll now fly full stick to the left. Again, wind coming from the front of the aircraft. And we do not see this with 38 miles an hour, no problem. 